The Southern District of New York saw its first guilty plea in another black market medicine case last month when Brooklyn resident Boris Amanov pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit health care fraud. Court documents say that Amanov and a co-conspirator supplied cut-rate, second-hand HIV medicine and other meds to pharmacies in Queens and the Bronx. As alleged, these pharmacies participating in the conspiracy knowingly cleaned up and resold these black market drugs to unsuspecting patients and other pharmacies. They then billed government and private insurance programs as if they'd paid for legitimate medicines. Between 2017 and 2023, they pocketed $20 million in fake claims from public benefits programs and insurance companies. These people were after maximum profit. They paid patients, including HIV patients, to fill prescriptions at their pharmacies so they could file even more fraudulent claims. The government alleges that several defendants made another $3.5 million selling black market meds on pharmacy-to-pharmacy -pharmacy online marketplaces. What did they do with this money? The government is asking them to forfeit luxury cars and millions in waterfront real estate. This case is just one of several black market drug rings that have been endangering patients across the country. We're grateful to anti-counterfeiting teams, law enforcement, and federal prosecutors for helping shut these grifters down and keeping U.S. patients safe. Keep up with stories like this on our website at safemedicines.org.